Hey, what's up, everyone? You are watching the Tetsuro Moke podcast episode 51. And pretty much, uh, this is a podcast that deals with Japanese trains, model trains, video games that deal with uh, trains, and and whatever we want to discuss. It's all good. So we're going to go ahead and kick off. Uh, you know, currently, Takara Tomi is having the 65th anniversary of the Plarel. And... For those of you who are not familiar with this, way back 65 years ago, um, Takara Tomi released these trains that were pretty much these blue plastic, I guess you could say railroad tracks, and trains that would run by batteries. They were big plastic trains, so a lot of people's first exposure for toys were Plarel. So a lot of people have a special place in their heart for Plarel, including myself, and um, they continue to be popular today. So it's just uh, it's just amazing. Uh, they have the they're currently having the Plarel Stamp Rally, which just ended just several weeks ago. So, but there are several uh, Takanatomi events where people can enjoy Plarel, and currently for July for new releases they just announced the Plarel real class and this one is for the freight train so this is a see freight train Asukaze so that's going to be pretty cool let's go ahead and look at the uh, the main let's see here this is the actually the main uh, page for the Plow Rail World Class. And let's just take, take check that out real quick. Hold on here. Currently uh, pretty much going through different uh, screens. Hold on here. Do I got it? Do I got it? Do I got it? Yes, I do. Okay. We got the plow rail world class right here. Okay, let me bring up the screen right now. There we go. Okay. So pretty much, uh, let's go ahead and check out the video of the the latest uh, plow rail world class. Let's go ahead and check this one out. Here we go. Hmm. Nice detail on that. Oh, interesting. Okay, you can see the, uh, see here, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So they have the eight releases right there. I have about, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. I think I have like six of them. So, um, so let's talk about the Plyrail World Class, the blue train that they were showing. So that's a freight train. And that one 
is an EF6650 and pretty much this is a well-known in Japan it's a well-known freight train I think this is uh, significant in the fact that we have the first major freight train featured uh, for the Plow Rail World Class. So what is Plow Rail World Class and Plow Rail, um, regular Plow Rail, what's the difference? Okay, the regular Plow Rail, they're cheaper. They're about anywhere between $12 to $20. And they work on, you know, the blue railroad tracks. And they're, they're inexpensive, so they don't come with tracks or anything. It's just the train themselves. And, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a really inexpensive train that runs now these days on a single uh, AA battery. Back then, they used to use the huge D, D cell batteries. But uh, Ply Railroad Class is targeted for adults who want something that is much more detailed. The, uh, instead of using the blue tracks, it uses the gray, like railroad tracks, as you see in this picture. And the difference in price is that uh, instead of the uh, 15, uh, 12 to 20 do US dollars, uh, this one goes up for Japan. It's around like 47, about $50. So it is kind of, it's a little pricey. And, uh, but the thing is, they. It's not like they re you know, have re released a whole lot of them. So uh, getting them still is still possible. But um, I will say, though, that uh, Plaril Real Class is very nice. I like the detail. And it's interesting because when it first came, when it first started last year, a lot of people are like, uh, you know what? I don't know who's this market for. No one's going to buy it. You know, people are going to be buying just a regular Plaril or Engage. If they're not going plow rail. Well, there is a market. People are buying it. People like myself, I enjoy it for the same detail. Um, in a way, it's kind of kind of feel like you just don't want to get regular plow rails anymore because these are so nice. But again, the price, it's almost um, like almost like five or six times, six times the amount of... Uh, the cost of the uh, of a regular plow rail, so I can understand if not many people are jumping jumping on the bandwagon, but um, I for one like them, and the fact that they can uh, share the same tracks as a plow rail is a plus. But these things go a little taller because um, see on the top with the detail of the um, the panograph and and also uh, the other things, those things can hit. Um, since it's a little higher, it can easily hit a, let's say if you have a bridge or a tunnel. So you kind of have to, um, kind of have to be careful, be careful for that. They usually, usually come with, uh, two types of tops. Usually one with the, uh, um, to keep things flat or something with a little, little bit more detail. It's, 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 uh, if anything it's for people who really want that extra detail if you're not then stay with the regular plow rail those are just good enough as well but for those who like that added detail um, because the thing is is that when you get plow rail um, a lot of them either they're you know some of them are painted really well but some of them are just stickers and for some people that's just not for them having all uh, like a sticker based um, based I guess you could say side panel as you can see here the windows are you could they're actually holes like windows but for Plarel it's either they have the they have the windows or the holes or their sticker base so you just kind of have to look and uh, check things out that way but let's go ahead and get out of this video real quick and let's go ahead and um, let's just take a look at this Asakaze. It is beautiful. And I like how that com comes with that little head mark right there and the pantograph. That is very nice. And the fact that it comes with these extra, extra three, that is also very nice. And you got that JR logo. As you can see here, 7,700 yen. So that pretty much equates to almost like $49 or so. 
And then you have the 185, the Limited Express Series 185 Shinkansen Relay. So this one's really interesting that they are definitely going to release this one because it's it's something that I do have on N-Gage, but I, it's something that, again, a classic. These are pretty much, these, these are both classics right here. And then, of course, the previous. This is the first ones that came out right here. The Odorico uh, Limited Express 185. Um, so this is also 185, but um, you can see the, the differences in the way the paint is. This one has that diagonal Odorico stripes. This one's the, is more of a Shinkansen relay. So there are differences between the two. Uh, this one's the Oda Q Romance car, 3100 NSE. And then it was followed up by the Limited Express Series 485 Raicho and the Limited Express 185 Odorico Shonan. I had to get these for those Shonan colors. If you guys have, or you, if you're new to this podcast, I always talk about how trains with the regular Shonan green and orange are always popular. And then you have the 485. Do I have that? Yes, I think I have the 485 right here. Looking back right now. Yes, I do. Okay, so this one right here is, uh, yeah, the Limited Express Series 485 Hokuetsu Kami Nutari Colors right here. And then you have the Commuter Train Series 201, the West Japan Railway Orange. So this one is really uh, pretty cool if you have been to Osaka before. It's, uh, it's no longer around, but... Um, I remember going on the train and just when it was uh, it was the year that they were closing it down and just pretty much having to go inside it check saying one more last goodbye to it so the fact that they are you know th these are available uh, you know and there is a market for it is a plus you definitely want to go through Amazon a lot cheaper that way so just a heads up on that um, but yeah check those out so let's see here let's go back to the Plarel let's see here let me get to that um, here we go with the July releases okay right here so um, this one it talks about how it has it's based on the blue train Asakaze four car train configuration, EF66 type number plate, EF6650, and the um, markers plate pantograph are realistically modeled and painted. For the EF66, uh, the decorative stripe head mark with or without available as a separate part, EF66 type, Oha Ohanfu 25-100. Kani 24-100 comes with the Asakaze head mark and train mark stickers attached. The Ohan F25-100 and Ohane 2500 uses bunk bed sheets and ladder parts. The Kani 24-100 features interior engine parts. Three realistic straight rails included for immediate display. All of them come with three straight rails typically. And um, so that's another thing. A lot of people are like if there is one caveat, it's the fact that they have not released these to the public uh, for purchase um, online uh, through like Amazon or stores like that. You have to usually go through their to Takara Tomi store. But I think that may change because the reason why, if you look back here, I just noticed that these are uh, being offered the straight well R01. This will be going for 660 yen. And in July 24, and then this one will be going on stuff for also 660 yen. But these are the ones that people are going to be needing. So I could see that uh, people may get like at least um, about uh, about two to four sets of these because people need those uh, those uh, half circles. But um, yeah, these are the ones that usually come with a um, Plara World Class. As for the Shinkansen Relay, the 185, um, it says here, Plyro World Class is a more realistic Plyro series that aims to provide both the fun of displaying and the fun of running. 
And this is the latest re release of the 185 Series Express tr Train. Based on the 185 Series Express Train Shinkansen Relay, four car train configuration, JNR marked mark and green car mark are printed. I don't know if, if we can uh, get a close up of that. Let's see. Oh, and they come with these little, um, instead of the usual plow rail cases, they come in these square box cases. So the head, head marks uh, for Shinkansen connections only. They have the Tanigawa, Shirane, Akagi, Soyokaze, Shinyuki, Super, Jutsu, Limited Express, uh, Odoriko, and Odo Odoriko Express Izu, Shonen Lighter, Hamakan, Hamakan, uh, Hamakaiji, <laughs> and Special Ex Limited Express Special Rapid. So they, there's quite a few headmark stickers that comes with. And you got the real realistic model and painting of the JNR Express train symbol mark. Typhoon cover, AR conditioner, panograph, and interior seats. And again, you get three realistic straight rails. So that is pretty cool. And then uh, for regular Pilar rail, you have the S59 Kehan Railway 13,000 series Thomas the Tank engine. Uh, this is great for the kids who have been waiting for more Thomas the Tank uh, based Pilar rail trains. So that's a good solid release right there there is actually is there is actually a train like this from uh, Kehan Electric so and then let's see here for the kids you get the go go big boob big boob no <laughs> I got this wrong wrong forget what I say go go bikuruzu so yeah can't believe I said that Oh my gosh. But yeah, you can enjoy the town of the Big Zoo right here. And then you have the <laughs> Make Play and Learning More Active Tomika Plarel pad. Uh, this one has active controls, 6 1 types of apps, 99 apps total. So you could turn, tilt, shake, move the lever up and down. You get uh, blinking lights. And um, it has collector's cards, learning apps, and more. So this is great for the kids. But for the most part, I think this is a solid release uh, for Plarel fans. Um, but have you noticed, though, that um, they are slowing down the actual Plarel releases? Because right now, as you see here, they are doing um, Plarel Originals such as these well this was not but this one it, the the uh these two are they got the thomas trains and then the uh the sets of but they are not doing as many um license trains as they did in previous years so that's okay that's okay there's more than enough trains out there that people can get and uh, for the most part, uh, yeah, people can focus on the Pilar Rail World Class. I think that is, again, pretty cool. I dig it. So, oh, I like that. I really do like this one. But the thing is that I have so many EF66s, Engage, even uh, I think it's Pilar Rail as well. Um, but I think for Pilar Rail World Class, it's kind of one of those things that. Uh, makes it much more attractive as for the 185 it's a pretty cool cool train for those who are into the classic trains right here but it's all good i think it's all it's a major plus so let's go ahead and check out what is happening with let's see here let me go ahead and close this real quick and we shall check it out with Kato. Let's see what's happening with Kato trains. Hold on everyone while I get this all set up. Okay, got there. And getting this all set up. Okay. 
Here we go. Okay, so this is the upcoming releases for Engage for Kato. Let's go ahead and start with, well actually, yeah, we're going to start with this one right here real quick. Let's make it bigger. Okay, here we go right here. Let me move this over a little bit so you all can see. There we go. Okay, so what we have here... Oh, this is really nice. Okay, so you have the Alpine Locomotive GE4 and 4-2. So these are more of the... Uh, this is for Swiss base trains, Switzerland. Uh, and then you got the Alpine Red Passenger Car EWI. I have a few of those Swiss trains, but these two are very nice. So this one is a uh, para baggage car. This one's a locomotive. Um, you also get, I'm trying to find it here, passenger car set express Kaiman Nichiman. And you also get the DD51 late warm climate um, type the passenger car set express sunbay so sunbay right here this one's the dd51 late warm climate type for engage and this is the kaimon michinan passenger car so this is an old school one this one is not so bad because you could get that front train for 85 80 yen so that comes about to what 60 dollars or so but this one right here though the Sambe, this one will go about 15950 so you're going to be paying close to about 125 bucks for that. DD51 is about 8,800 yen, so this one's also about uh, 50 bucks or so, a little over 50. Um, and then you have the sound card for the E131 series, and then the Tokyo Metro 17,000 series right here. And the 18,000 series. So these are sound cards for sound box. So those are for uh, pretty much they make sounds for those of you for those who have the special uh, device that can play the sounds and you can pretty much for those who really want to be really meticulous. Let's say if the train is coming through railroad tracks and so forth, it uh, is something that you can definitely. Um, get for your for your set so anyway i think if anything uh for january releases i think this is a really major plus for those who are into international um international trains especially from switzerland i think that's really awesome uh let's see here going down here and you have another popular freight train the EF210 100 single arm pentagraph new paint. I have the engage for this already, but this one, look at that. The Koki 105s with the Toyota Long Pass Express. I think that's really cool right there. Just looking at it, the EF210. But for the most part, this one is going to be a cheap one, 80 30. So this one be, will be around 60 to $65. Not bad. Koki 105s, you get a set of 10 for 33000 So expect to spend about 280 bucks on that if you want to buy the whole set. Or you could just buy them. Well, the, the, the uh, what do you call it? The U55A. U55 um, let see. Echoliner 31. Yeah. So these ones are available for sixteen fifteen. You get about, uh, if I recall, I have to look, but I do have several of these. Uh, well, I'm not sure if the Equiliner thirty ones, but let's 
see here. The, the other one, this one's going to be released. Oh, by the way, that last train we were looking for was going to be released in October 2024. This one is for November 2024, and this is the MU-3000. So this one is the... Is it the MU-3000? Hold on. Is this the... Uh... Okay, these are operated by the Taiwan Railway... And they're built by Hitachi. Okay. But yeah. These are inner city trains. And they started back in December 2021. And operated by TR, Taiwan Railway. Pretty cool looking um, high speed train right there. This one will be going on sale for, if you want the full one, it's about 28600 so you're going to be paying about 200 um, Well, actually, that's just for the six-car set, but if you want to get a full set, uh, it's going to be quite pricey. But it's 28600 uh, for a six-car, and that usually comes with the front, right? I don't know, because it's a pretty long one, but you add everything up, and it'll be, like, close to... 52,000 so if you if you're willing if you're if you're cool about spending four hundred eighty dollars this one's definitely for you so definitely check that out so that is for Kato you know for me I'm just happy that these uh, these companies are still um, operating you know the the um the whole situation hold on here everyone let me go there. okay so the uh, whole situation of what's happening in japan with the whole the whole um <laughs> my phone's ringing um with the weakening yen and also the bad e economy i mean things are just bad in japan right now i mean just today they just announced how mcdonald's had all of McDonald's had to put a sign that they ran out of fries. They're having problems with logistics issues with supplies. So the only way you can get fries is if you buy a set. Otherwise, you cannot buy fries by itself anymore. Then and, and then um, Asahi, um, you know, uh, beverage. They just announced that all their beverages are going to go up in price. So it's what's happening in Japan right now. It just sucks. But it's 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 what it is. It's it's been going on way too long, and every time I'm looking at the yen, it doesn't look like it's going to get any better. But again, for you outside of Japan, for those of you who are um, into trains and do buy the models, now's the time to buy. So, you know, you're getting it at a uh, pretty much of a discounted rate. But let's go ahead and check out what's happening with um, Tomix. Let's see here. Let me go right here. Okay. And uh, pretty much Tomix is the uh, model train line for Takada Tomi. And uh, just waiting for everything to come up. And everything is coming up right now. So let's bring it up here. Okay, this is what Tomix has coming. Oh, look at that, that uh, little station right there. It's pretty nice. My goodness, my goodness, my goodness. So many things coming out. So let's go ahead and let me see what we have here okay so these are some of the recent releases they had the JREH 500 electric locomotive first generation you have the JRDD 200 O type diesel locomotive I like these ones you can never get tired of those again about 8800 yen so about 60 60 65 dollars right there 
Here you get the JR N700 1000 series Tokaido Sanyo Shinkansen basic set. Goes for about 16940 so expect to pay about $140 um, dollars for that. Um, and then you got the add ons right here. You got the add on A with these four, and then the the um, set B, which you get all these. So one is eleven thousand eight hundred eighty. That's about a hundred bucks. This one's twenty six thousand one hundred eighty, and somewhere about like about two hundred forty dollars right there. Then you have the JR two hundred series Tohoku Shinkansen K Formation Basic Set, going for twenty two thousand eight hundred eighty. And you get the add-ons for eleven thousand four hundred forty. So again, all together, you're going to be playing close to hundred, about two hundred fifty dollars or so. And then, uh, but let's see here. Let's go to. Let's see if they have a new. The release schedule. Okay, there is a message here. The release, the scheduled release date for the following products have changed: the JNR Kiha 560, the Kodokatsu set, and the JNR Diesel Car Kiha 56-0, and the JNR Diesel Car Kiha 27-0 have been changed to July 2024. So that's more of an apology right there. But it's all good. Tom Tomix is uh, has been solid in providing us with awesome trains but yeah let's take a look at all this other stuff right here kind of like that how do you have all those those steps right there this one's really cool you got these uh, countryside type of uh, stations But um, that is pretty much it for Tomix. So uh, for those of you who are, let me move this over a little bit right here. So uh, yeah, you have various uh, train makers for Engage that, that I guess you could say are, are worthy competitors. I think they, they pretty much push each other to make great things. And that's really important to have. Uh, there's there's a few others in Japan, but Kato and Tomix are the big dogs. Takara Tomi has been around for a long time with their, their Tomix line. And then you have Kato as well. Uh, Kato is a lot of people tend to side with Kato for uh, because it's more of a Japanese. I guess you could say Japanese made model train. Whereas Takara Tomi has grown so big that they have uh, pretty much contracted with to have their stuff made in other countries. Uh, this includes their Tomica line and their Plarail line, but you know for the most part um, they're both solid trains. A little different when it comes to the tracks. Um, both can operate on both tracks, but again both run a little bit differently. And for the most part, I have both. I like to have the like to have them the best of both worlds if anything so that's how i look at it so i think if anything let's see here i like that shinkansen the overall look to it i have several shinkansen but my diorama is not huge enough to to allow for that many trains so um if anything, I just operate on a, a small train set. So I, I don't need a full set. All I need is just a basic set, which is usually like two or three trains. Some of them come with about four or five, but it's all I need. It's all I need, and I'm good with that. So let's go ahead and check out what is going on with Tetsuro Moke. Let me go ahead and take this off right here. Thank you for being patient, everyone. But... Um, yeah, when it comes to model trains, now is definitely the, the time to buy. Okay, here we go. 
Because let's say that if something is like 8,800 yen, there's a time when, yeah, you're paying 8,800 yen, you're paying for 88, 88 bucks USD, but now for 8,800 yen, it's almost like uh, playing almost like about 40 or 50 dollars. So uh, let's see here, Dinsha. Hopefully you all can hear me um, or see me. Uh, right now I'm having issues with my light bulb. It it's, looks like it's about to die. So if, if you see my avatar start to pause, it's because of that. But let's go ahead and go on the news and see what is happening. So right now, the big talk in Japan. Let's see here. Oh, okay, let's go ahead and go to this one. Let me go ahead and turn this on right here. Okay, this is Dengeki Online, and this is the big news right here. Dr. Yellow is back. <laughs> the 923. Let me get to it real quick here. I have several of these, by the way. <coughs> Tomix. Um, Kato. And also for Plarel. So, so uh, for Dr. Yellow, uh, this is a nickname for their high-speed test trains that they operate on Takaido Shinkansen and Sanyo Shinkansen. Um, this is how everything, how they get their data, is through these Dr. Yellow trains. These are only used for tests. Um, they are built to have special equipment, and pretty much they just do a lot of tests and diagnostics on the trains. So uh, you will know it's a test train. It's the only one with yellow, with the blue stripe uh, on its. Uh, they could they say it's their um, waistline stripe, and uh, you'll see them in the Shinkansen line. So. This is pretty cool that the 923 is being released. Uh, it's important to know, I think, the reason why uh, this one is being released right now is the 700 series, the 923, is being withdrawn January 2025. So that one is going bye-bye. And the 923-3000 will be withdrawn in 2027. These have been in operation since 2000 and 2005. So, if anything, it's just um, there's always new ones coming out for these uh, Dr. Yellows. But, yeah, this is it. Last one will be withdrawn in 2027. So, yep. On June 13th, June, okay, June 13th, 2024, GR Central and GR West announced that the use of their Dr. Yellow trains for inspections on the Takedo and Sanyo Shinkansen lines would terminate after 2027. They are scheduled to be replaced with the commercial N700 S series Shinkansen trains that will have inspection equipment. So you know how I was showing you that N700 uh, S Shinkansen, the white one that Tomix is releasing? Those will now become the new inspection. Well, these train, those trains will have commercial, uh, will have inspection equipment in it. So it's sad. It's sad because the Dr. Yellows were just us. It's, it's such, such a big part of Japanese culture. To, so to see it gone is um is a sad it's a sad very sad thing so let's see here let's get more information on this one because i didn't see it on the main website so uh this one well this one was released a long time ago back in june 20 uh, 2022 so uh, i believe that is when i got mine uh when it was released well these are the yeah, these were the Tomix ones. So, uh, this one you could probably get for about a hundred, 
in ten dollars but it's a basic set but with the retirement being announced uh, you can definitely be sure that anything Dr. Yellow will be sold out so if you are a Dr. Yellow fan oh man I can't believe that and uh, one thing I want to talk about is uh, Hasegawa Modemo uh, before we go I don't think they're going to be making anymore. They haven't really done much in, you know, in a, quite a while. There has been model releases from Hasegawa, as you can see here, August 2024. But in terms of the trains, I don't think we're ever going to see them for... It's been, it's been too long now. I really do feel that uh, the pandemic changed a lot of things for a lot of companies and getting materials and getting certain just certain things to make trains is just not as readily available and not not uh, cost effective for them to release anything anymore and this is one of the sad things because Hasegawa and you know Modemo was my favorite uh, in terms of releasing trams and and certain classic, uh, you know, vehicles that it's a, it's a shame because they they were they were priced really, you know, really nicely. And I have a good sized collection of Hasegawa Modemo stuff as well. And I, I it's just a shame that they are not making them anymore. I hope one day they do come back, but it's pretty much I think it's I think for, you know pretty much that it's something that we're not going to see anymore. Uh, going on the online shop. Um, is there anything on here? Nope. I think there's a message here. Nope, they're not doing anything for the online shop anymore. As of June 2023, they're no longer going to accept orders from the online store. I wonder what happened there. But it just kind of shows that a lot of these companies are struggling. Hasegawa, I mean, they're still making models. That's what they're popular for, their model kits. So it's a company that's going to be, they've been around for such a long time that when it comes to model kits, that's something that will continue to bring money to that company. But the trains that, uh, the Modemo trains that we loved, I think it's uh, unfortunate that, um, that uh, they're not making anymore. So... If anything, you, you know, we just got to support these uh, companies as best we can. And it's, I know it's been really tough for a lot of them, especially with the uh, weak, weakening yen uh, in Japan and the whole economy, which has been, uh, which hasn't been getting, getting any better for these past two, three years now. It's just been terrible. It's, it's getting even worse. So I, I, I don't know. Um, you know, fortunately, tourism is back in Japan, but then that has also <laughs> has problems as well. So, um, you know, that's that's a topic for another podcast. So, but for the most part, you all take care, and I will see you later. And again, thank you for all the support. And um, yeah, we'll continue to talk about trains. I will do more reviews. Um, I just have to take more pictures. Um, ever since I lost my. Uh, camera um somewhere i don't know i hope i did accidentally trash it but for the most part uh <laughs> i will get reviews i will be doing reviews again it's just that um it, 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 it it's hard for me to use another camera that's not as good as my other one so it's just it, it is what it is and um yeah it's just I think if anything, if there's something you guys want to talk, you know, I know back then I talked about a lot about the news, a lot about the, the train competitions, and we'll continue to do that. We'll also continue to look at other, uh, you know, uh, Tetsuro Moke podcasters, and we'll continue to get back into the rhythm of things. It's just uh, been a little bit uh, tough, so, but we'll do that um, as uh, time goes on. Uh, so you all take care, and I will see you later. Bye-bye. Wink, wink. Oh.